how to improvise a two-part invention. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. And in this video, I show you how. Welcome to this new video. I'm Ricardo Semusicus Practicus, and today I want to show you a very strong method and powerful method to improvise a two-part invention. Now pay attention because it's not so easy. It's not so easy. There are many things to pay attention. So now be first, before starting our beautiful uh, journey today in this video, let's listen to the final result that now I don't know how it will be because we are going now to, after, the, after you, you will listen to the final realization, we are going to start our magical combination. So let's listen to it. The final note is a little bit out of tune, but that's okay. Okay, very good. Now, the first question is, but what is an invention? I mean, what is an invention? Because, you know, you can imagine a current, a corrente, a minuet, an aleman, also a fugue, like a form, because some, yeah, the fugue is not a form, but there, there are some elements which make up the fugue, okay, like expositions, imitations, the essence of the fugue. But what is an invention actually? That's not a form. There's a very beautiful book in my um, magical library, this one, that I suggest that you buy and read. The name is Bach and the Patterns of Inventions. Now, chapter one, can you see this book? Yeah, chapter one is entirely dedicated to explaining, to explain what is an invention. Now, it's very interesting, page three, so at the very beginning, invention as the discover, discovery of valid or seemingly valid arg arguments to render one cow, one's cows possible. So the invention coming from uh, Latin rhetoric, is one of the five parts of the rhetoric and is the ability 
which consists in inventing, in identifying from some other elements, for example, a melody, an element, and then also the ability to, to uh, create other elements, other ingredients from this element. So the, the concept of the solve et coagula, of the, in, the, in alchemy, of the passage from the nigredo, the, black, the blackness, to the albedo, the whiteness, the solve et coagula, so uh, solve, I mean, separate elements and then combine them, coagula. It's very important also here. In the invention, we have single elements. We create single elements combining, for example, lit more little elements. And then in the other parts of the disposition of, uh, of the rhetoric, we set up the form, we can say in modern terms, but the invention itself expresses the mental process of any kind of composition. In an invention, you have probably, probably have, you will have a specific kind of invention with um, compositional techniques. But the invention is not the form itself. For, for example, you can find uh, uh, Courant, for example, invention number six in E major by Johann Sebastian Bach. This is a, a Courant, uh, no, a, a, a Corrente, yeah. Cor Corrente? I think so. Um, other inventions are fugues. So there are many forms, but all are inventions in, in a wider context. Now, let's talk about a very beautiful invention. So number 13, the one in A minor. You know that there is this beautiful element. And in terms of identifying the structure, we have Re, Mi, Fa. So let's take the beautiful Partimento magic box. Tac, here. And let's take our element, which is Re, Mi, Fa. So we have Re, Mi, Fa, Re, Mi, Fa at the beginning. Re, Mi, Fa. Uh, uh, called here, of course, Do, Re, Mi, because as you know, the uh, Re, Mi, Fa is the minor version of the Do, Re, Mi. Tac, we put Re, Mi, Fa or Do, Re, Mi here. And so, and in the bass, I want the tied bass element. So let's combine another element, which is the tied bass. Where is it? Where is it? Where is our beautiful tied bass? Oh, no, 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 it's an intertra chord. Tied bass, die belin, dove? Tied, here, tied bass. Perfect, tied bass. And so let's start writing our stuff. First of all, I need <laughs> something here uh, in order to put all these elements. And I use Partimentini, a collection I, I wrote uh, of 184 Partimentini. You will see very soon these beautiful things. Now, we have Do, Re, Mi and Tide Bass here. Tuck. Do, Re, Mi and Tied Bass creating so our melody, our element, which is Re, Mi, Fa. So one, one of the most important things is that you analyze the structure of what you want to improvise, compose, but also play. If you're playing a composition, do this exercise, individuate the structure. Pom, ta, sol, la, this way, la, and then. So, as you can see, tak, 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 tak. And so, re. Me. Yeah, but here, the first one. Me. Fa. In this point. Re. Me. Fa. Now, once we have this. Re. Mi, fa. 
I want the imitation in lower voice like in um, EJS Back to Part Invasion number 13. Pa, fa, pa, mi, fa. I, re I remind you that you can download the PDF of all these elements of this recipe on my Patreon page, you find the link in the description so that you can do your version, practice very well, following all what we are going to write right, right now. And at the same time, you can help me in creating many other videos like this on this channel because that's a lot of work for you. So follow the link, subscribe your special Patreon membership, get a lot of incredible content and then support this project. Now, re, mi, fa, and here I want to preserve, no, yeah, the element we have in, um, in J.S. Bach invention. Fa, la, mi, do, la, fa, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, staying within the hexachord. Tac, 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 this way. Ta, mi, fa, and here, the same in the left hand. Re, mi, fa. In this point, re, mi, fa. Now, uh, 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 huh? Repeat it one, uh, one, one, <laughs> repeat it one other time. With the right note, actually. Okay, Berlin, we are. Ta -ti -ta. This way, tak 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 tak. Okay. And the left hand, let's follow like in the invention. Now, our challenge consists in finding, so using the power of the invention, the magical power of the invention, in order to find other ways for combining this element and develop it into the other different ways using of course the partimento magic box now so this way so basically two times the same thing <clears throat> imitating that invention I'm not a singer so my voice is, is terrible at times, sometimes or many times. That now, so and here we can again do this now. And now from this point, so with the this subject that we can call yeah, let's call it basically S subject. <laughs> using the tight bass at the beginning and pay attention because I, I want to use the tight bass then in our uh, development in a very particular way. So tight bass and now the challenge starts. First of all, for example, how to start? Let's start with S, so we are in A minor, A minor, so A basically. Uh, or better, S in A minor from the beginning. So the whole subject. Now, here we can start a sequence. For example, a very beautiful sequence can be the three down two up yes so let's open the beautiful partimento magic box again and let's take the new ingredient so uh three down two up this one as you can see tac, 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 tac. three down two up how this is the question how to apply this this way so we have here S, which is our subject. Then ta 
тара тара тан там For example. arrived at the end imitating the arpeggio so S which means subject in A minor A Re using solmization learn solmization because it's very useful if you read with solmization as the ancient musicians used to do you find the link of Mi Fa Mi et Mi Fa and Sota Musica for learning solmization here in the description. Now, Sol Fa Mi Do, which is, as you can see, Sol Mi Fa Re Mi Do Re. As you can see, we are going three down and two up. Now let's put diminutions in the bass, or passing tones and lift. And the right hand features 3-5, 5-6, 3-5, 5-6, 3-5-4. If you want, and now a cadence to A minor. La 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 re, la fa sol la, fa sol la re. Then, of course, not now because otherwise the video will be five hours long. But I'll put I'll the in the PDF you can download also the the written version of what now I am setting up. So. Uh, for example, moving parallel six, and now after this, personally, I like to have another time the subject. So, subject, then we have three down to up. So, let's use blue for sequences three down to up, and then another time the subject in A minor, basically because I like to have another time the subject in A minor. So, after the cadence. Now, I want something moving, moving up, for example, another kind of sequence. So, personally, I like... something like this, which is in our of magic box Monte 56. Now I know that there are a lot of these patterns and it's not so simple to to uh, learn each one of them basically because they are a lot so you have to study each one separately but in a few weeks I'm releasing something very incredible thanks to which you can learn all and practice through all the keys, so you can practice the Monte 56, Jupiter, Major, Sofami, all of these through all the keys from C major up to A flat minor. <laughs> so the most crazy thing you can conceive about all the things. And Partimentini are connected. So pay attention and stay tuned, Belin. So Monte 56, this one, uh, works this way over a long bass. You have one of the upper voices featuring 5-6-5-6, five, six, five, six. for example. 5-6-5-6-5-6 five, six, five, six, five, six. and let's say another improvement I, I have I want to do is consistent in putting something here in order to film also hands. I have to study how to do it do, to, how to do this because here is not so easy in this point. I mean now Monte 5-6 we said, now we said the subject again in A minor, A Re, and then Monte 5-6. So arrive to this point. This. This is 
structure mi fa mi fa fa sol uh yeah let's write an octave down just to have enough space mi fa fa sol sol la As you can see, this voice is moving in parallel thirds with the bass. Mi, fa, fa, sol, sol, la. While the other voice in the structure, the so, yeah, let's use colors, for example, green and, and your orange or, can you see yellow? Yeah, this is mm, orange, better works. This, 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 this. This voice features in this case six, six, five, six, five, while the other voice features three, 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 three. So parallel thirds. Now within this system, apply the um, figure or some elements which comes from the subject. So we are using the invention of the subject in a sequence. So. And give also a figure, a rhythm to the lower voice. Now I want to arrive to C major, I want to go to C major, so I need like a pattern like this. Which is another very beautiful pattern called descending thirds. And descending thirds is a very common pattern in music, you can, you can find a lot of, of examples, so something working like descending thirds. And for this, we have the standing thirds here. Another ingredient of the Patimento Magic Box, so the standing thirds. Okay, there we go. Like, basically, pa 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 pa. At the very end, you can use a diminished fifth in order to arrive to C major. So, uh, fa, fa. let's write the upper F, because this is just a structure, but basically, yeah, here we can also stay higher. Yeah, let's do, let's do things in the best way. Don't, don't, oh my God, don't do, so, uh, okay, you understood what I mean. Okay. Okay, 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 uh, six, five, six, five, Berlin, done, tuck, and now here. Pam, pam, pam. In eight notes, as you can see. Do, tan, tan, tan. For example. So, po, po, po. yeah, ta, 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 ta. okay. We have to pay attention if we want something very good to don't invert the down bit with the up bit because if I do this and then. I'm arriving on a downbeat. On an upbeat, I mean. I want to arrive on a downbeat, so... Yeah, I need to add something like here, something... A passage like this, but let's write a structure. Palm. Then, then, here. Palm. Palm. Mi fa sol, as we did before, and this cadence, as you can see, comes from here. 
so the downbeat is here, down, up, down, up. I mean, two downbeats for a proper bar. You can start a subject at the in the at the heart of the bar. Pa pa pam pam pam. And so here we have the pattern called descending third. So let's write first of all here three down to up, three down to up, and here descending third. So this thirds. And let's also add here descending first of all monte five six. Monte between five six and then descending thirds this way. Okay. Papi 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 da 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 Now, abruzio, abruzio in the left hand, so avoid the resolution of the cadence because now we start uh, the subject in C major from the left hand this time, this time inverting the process bef uh, we had before. So. Now, I want to do this in C major in order to then arrive to D minor. This way, using this trick. Now, let's do this. I, first of all, let I show you to you to you what I mean. I want to do this. And then I want to start in D minor and the effect is very beautiful before starting then another sequence so now what to how to do this first of all you can see it very in depth, if you download the, this PDF, you have also uh, what I'm playing. So after making this video, I'll write, I realize the written realization indicating the structural notes and the pattern so that you can understand how to do this. Then I'm just doing this, so C in the bass. Palm, 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 palm. Here we have Do Re Mi in the left, in the right hand, Do Re Mi, which is the subject Do Re Mi. So Do Re Mi in the left hand, Do Re Mi. Now, while we have the resolution, the other voice starts the modulation. Yeah, first of all, let's pay attention to the bar line because we arrived here. We are at the middle of the bar. So we have this and then the next bar line is uh, Do, Re, Mi. Wait a moment, in the, in the other point. Mi, Do, Re, Mi, here. So. In this point, instead of Do Re Mi in the bass, we 
we have? Do. Which is do, 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 re. And in the structure, in the top voice, we have sol, fa, so diminished fifth, which creates do, re. So let's start from the beginning of the line. Do, re, mi. So here we start a new um, do re mi in the top voice. How? Because here with the abruzio in this point. We will put re mi fa here. Re mi fa. And then in this point we have our real subject in D minor. So let's just write this. So de re. And we have now the subject in D minor. De re, I said Belin. De re. And now the final result is. <laughs> As I said, if I write now all these things, this video <laughs> writes five hours long. So let's keep uh, the main elements. You can see all of this downloading this PDF and in this way sup supporting this project for you. Many times composition is a game of combinations. You could be well acquainted with the greatest secrets of harmony, but if you don't know how to harmonize them, they are of little use. You might possess a refined skill in counterpoint, but if you don't know how to connect this magical ingredient, it becomes entirely useless. You might also know all the patterns of the gallant style, but if you don't know how to mix, blend and organize them, you are not unleashing their maximum energy. With a few simple and well-organized steps, you too can become a wizard in the art of composing through combinations. Thanks to the Partimento Magic Box, I've devised a highly effective system with which you can compose many pieces by combining the different ingredients of musical composition, much like preparing a magical potion or a delightful recipe. Discover all the ingredients, create effective combinations and become a wizard of musical composition. Explore all the recipes on this page. Now, we want to arrive to F major, for example, and if we can start another descending third sequence. Now, in terms of structure, I want something like this. It's very long, this sequence. Now we can divide the sequence into two parts, this way. Instead of two, three, four, five, six, six times the same thing, we can do three plus three, this way. Now I show you how, so the result and then how to do, arrive to this point. So. Cadence to the minor, and now the same principle here. The melody shifts to the left hand, like so you have pay attention. We thought that we so 
the complete sequence works We break this and sol, sol, continuing in the same way we shift the diminution in the left hand. So three. So it keeps the same, it remains the same. Uh, we said uh, the same, but moving also to the lower fifth, so like a quintal in these points. Yeah, it becomes like a quintal here and then after this six in order to have a cadence now we we arrive at the end of, this, of our uh, D minor subject so we'll we said yes yeah, starting with the right hand actually so. So first of all, let's check this because we are starting with F. Just shift to this point, oh. note and write seven, 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 which then becomes uh, this pom, pa, pa, pom, with two for six, resolving at the end. Uh, 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 So let me see the rhythm. Yeah, it's it's correct. Another 
another bit in order to have a to kill the binary succession then down up uh, down down up down up down up down uh, uh, to Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Like this. Yeah. And then just continuing the scale with this beautiful chromaticism. In the PDF you can download, uh, you also have this highlighted in the realization. And now let's shift all these uh, all figurations from this point. So let's let, yeah let's start playing the structure. This is a structure. Using five six, uh, three five and five six, three five five six this way, mm, five six five or let's write three six five, three six five, three six and then starting with seven seven so the queen full. We arrive to this point. We have to now understand how to start this point, so... Yeah. And then we... This figure, yeah. Here we can start another subject. So after this we said descending thirds, C major, C major in brackets because it's not uh, yeah, but wait a moment. S in brackets because it's modified. Or we can say we can use an asterisk modified in C major, so the subject. Then D minor, so the subject in D minor. And then we have six five, so the um, third down, three up. Again, three down, two up. 
three down, two up. And then after three down, two up, we are using the queen full in order to continue, continue. Queen full this way. And at this point, we can start the subject in F major. So F major, F or better, S in F major. So, let's start from the sequence. Now I want to do this using the Monte. I show to you what I mean because it's very beautiful and then I'll explain you how to do this. So. come back to D uh, to A minor F major D major D minor E minor A minor this way so we are using the monte another very beautiful pattern so uh, let's take the monte and let's also take I would say the um, quintful because we used both so we are using now the monte blah 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 where is the monte at this point and the quintful where is the quintful Berlin Tac tac, oh, qui, 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 here. Eccola qui, eccola qui, tac. Tac tac, perfect. And now, um, how to do this? So, in the subject, when you arrive to this point, so. The same thing we use in this point. Uh, where, where did I use? Where did I? But yeah, here in this point. Now let's write the right combination. Here in a normal combination of major, you have. So while the right hand top You have this. In our variant, in order to make the monte, here you have mi sol fa sol. So with the F sharp, first of all, because if we're going to G minor, we need the major with the seventh, maybe. And then this is the same. But then you feature this and then you start in G minor. Uh, and the same. So now I won't write it right now because there are 47 minutes I do it at the end. 
uh, so in the PDF you can download and but I'll tell you that what you can do it's because it's in following now the structure so imagine this understand how to combine this element the game gets very easy da, 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 and then we arrive to a minor the melody is th the structure of course of the melody three 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 five three 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 five five three 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 flat of course Listen. Now we, we can start another sequence. So we used these elements of the subject transposed in a monte, so set or better, set in a monte with a transposition a step higher each time. Now we said subject F major, uh, which was follow, yeah, with the monte, so F major, then subject G minor, and subject A minor, creating so the monte, chromatic of course. Now, after this, we can use a sequence, and I like to use another time, for example, the, the we can use a tight bass. Let, let me see, we arrive to this point. This point, okay. But let's use again this one, yeah. So if we use the sequence, but adding chromaticism, it becomes more interesting so yeah too much long in any case Nice. Nice. And now I want to use another thing. So let's use now a very long, a long, long descending third, uh, three down to up, adding chromaticism. Chromaticism. This way. With a cadence in the middle to A minor. Now let's follow this process. Now I'm using a, a dominant seven sequence, so we can call this like a chromatic queen fold, which is very interesting because it stays within this structure. So D minor, imagine D minor, D minor. La, sol, fa, so D minor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try the structure. La, so, so, with both voices. The orange one. Ta, ta, 
flat, which then becomes da, 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 three natural, while the yeah the orange yeah let's write the note. The other voice move down, so we have an exchange of this moving to this. So long D, long G, C, F, plus this, eight, seven, three. The other voice can, for example, stay on three, three, five. It's not necessary also here. This is grammatic. I mean, you can put it, but not necessary, you know. It depends on what you want to do. Then you have three, three major, eight, seven, three. Yeah, let's write if you will, if you like three, three natural. Then and then a, 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 a eight and three at this point. So this is the structure. And within the system, we put D minor. Subject Why the second time or instead of the leading tone, we use the flat. So let's also write here what I mean. We start a new sequence in um, in a new key, which is a fifth higher, which can be G minor, for example, also G major if you like here because we are in a in A minor. Now, instead of moving this way, we can use a double cadence in the middle. Mi fa, mi fa, so the melody of the double cadence. Mi fa, mi fa. While in the bass we use fa, mi, re, sol, to, or sol, fa, mi, la, re. So we are using two other elements, which are the melody of the double cadence and in the bass, printer. The bass of the printer, fa, mi, re, sol, to. And so let's also take the printer and uh, uh, and uh, we said double cadence here so we have printer tuck and double cadence here tuck how many ingredients Belin? how many and i see 50 57 oh my god yeah now 
one, two, three, four, up to F major. And so we have, so in the PDF you can download, we can also see all these highlighted in the realization in order to grasp what I'm doing. <laughs> Again, uh, to F major, yeah. And in this point, now let's use another uh, sequence, which is a tight bass we already used at the beginning. So. For example. again to A minor in order to come back. Tight bass now, after all of this, tight bass we said. So, a very long tight bass. Tight bass using 5 and then 2 for 6, 2 for 6, 4, 2, high, down beat, up beat, 6. Then two for six, six this way. Ta, 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 and then we arrive up to the end. In the right hand, I'm using the figure of the subject. So, and after this... Like at the beginning, if you want to finish in a bigger way. So what I did at the end, I just did this. So after this long three down two up, I played. Um, uh, uh, I don't remember anymore. What did I do? Uh, 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 I, did, I did. I did. Monte. No. 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 It was late. Yeah, Monte. Obelin. <gasps> oh my god, what's happening? I forgot. So after the, mo the Monte. Okay, okay, okay. In this point, I put. Yeah, I put the dominant uh, seventh. Or let's just say qu chromatic. Yeah, chromatic windfall. Quint. Chromatic windfall. Then tight bass, yeah, but please blue chromatic queenful. Then tight bass, so queenful up to F major, and then tight bass up to A minor. Then I just play the beginning this. 
With a deceptive cadence. Other descending thirds in the structure of the melody. And then. Another cadence. A little toccata part at the end. Like this. So, you know, subject A minor, three down to up, the deceptive cadence, deceptive, let's use deceptive. Then we say free part in toccata style, toccata but measured because we are in a measured style. And then final cadence to finish to all final cadence. It's a very long recipe this time. Final cadence. And now the challenge after all of this consists in playing all, all of this from uh, in succession and I have to remind what I'm doing. So what, what I brought actually. And after this, Berlin, uh, the realization is complete. You can download this PDF with the realization and all the structure indicated. It is a way of supporting this project and helping me in making more videos for you like this and other styles. So let's start this challenge. <laughs> The final note is a little bit out of tune, but that's okay. Many times composition is a game of combinations. You could be well acquainted with the greatest secrets of harmony, but if you don't know how to harmonize them, they are of little use. You might possess a refined skill in counterpoint, but if you don't know how to connect this magical ingredient, it becomes entirely useless. 
you might also know all the patterns of the gallant style but if you don't know how to mix, blend and organize them you are not unleashing their maximum energy. With a few simple and well-organized steps you too can become a wizard in the art of composing through combinations. Thanks to the Partimento Magic Box, I've devised a highly effective system with which you can compose many pieces by combining the different ingredients of musical composition, much like preparing a magical potion or a delightful recipe. Discover all the ingredients, create effective combinations and become a wizard of musical composition. Explore all the recipes on this page.